Hi, Sally Henderson, Change Mentor. And I'm coming on for video, I'm not doing a walk and talk because there's something so important I want to share with any senior leader who's watching this. How you're feeling on the inside is massively affecting how you're showing up as a leader. There's no rocket science in that, I'm not the first to say it. But what I see with my clients all the time is just what the personal cost is to that leader when they're trying to deliver a version of leadership that isn't authentic to who they really are. And equally, is drawing on strategies and techniques and default behaviors that used to get incredible results. So they are equated to successful in the head of said leader. Now, when I start to work with my clients, it's quickly evident to me how we need to change, how someone is self-perceiving and self-rationalizing in terms of how they're working as a leader. You cannot do that for yourself. It's impossible. I've had to struggle with it recently myself. I've got change happening in my business that it's healthy, but it doesn't stop it being daunting, it doesn't stop it causing fear to get into my system, which boosts my cortisol and makes me less agile, less playful, less brave and less curious. It happens to the best of us. Now I'm sense checking through the work I do with my clients, but I'm still investing in mentoring for me. So if you're a high performing senior leader, don't let yourself stay in your own bubble because the air there does become stale. Get advice, get support, and get the right energy that's going to be your professional pacer, a great expression coined by Amelia Tarode, and get somebody who can give you a perspective and a view that will really practically help you, but also emotionally support you. The simple things are often the easiest to overlook, but will be the fastest to great results. So how are you feeling as a leader at the moment? Are you even aware? Because how you're feeling, and I bang on about this all the time, is radically affecting how you're thinking and acting. It's just often you're not even conscious of that. So if I can help you to think, feel, and act better as a leader, and that's not better according to Forbes or Harvard or some great, great school of leadership, that's better according to your unique self. Because that self is brilliant. You just need to get better connected to it. If I can help you, I'd love to. Give me a call. Bye for now.